Hi guys, I'm Johnny and today I am going to show you how to make a very delicious and easy beef and broccoli stir fry. I really love making beef and broccoli stir fry because I really know what goes in it and it's, I think it's healthier for you than the one that you get outside. I love me some takeout but I really love making my own so let's get started. So guys, what I have here is some beef. This is just some sirloin that I thinly slice. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add my soy sauce, my cornstarch, and I'm just going to mix this all together until it's well coated. So guys, here I have a, a skillet, whoa got some water in there with some vegetable oil and I let it get hot I'm using I'm on high heat because we want to cook this really fast so I'm going to go ahead and add my meat and I'm gonna cook it for about I don't know just cook it to your desired darkness I will do probably six minutes in total make sure you don't overcook it though So guys, I have my beef here. I cooked it for about six minutes, like three minutes on each side. And I remove it from the pan and I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna set it aside for now. And while the meat rests a little bit, I'm going to get started on my next step. So here I have some beef broth. And to that, I'm going to go ahead and add some soy sauce, cornstarch, I'm going to add some oyster sauce and some ground ginger. I am using ground ginger because I don't have fresh and I usually use ground but you can use fresh if you like. And I'm going to give this a mix. So now that you have mixed your, your liquids, you're going to here in the same pan where you had your, your meat, where you cooked your meat, you're going to go ahead and add your onions your minced garlic and broccoli and you're gonna cook that there for three to five minutes and the reason we have some some burn bits in there that's because that flavor that's because of the meat we cook it on high heat so I'm just gonna add my onions and garlic and my broccoli and I'm just gonna cook that there until the broccoli is soft but he'll have, it still has some texture so while my broccoli and onions and garlic are cooking, I realized that I forgot an ingredient and that is honey to add to your, to your bee broth. So you're gonna add some honey. I have used dark brown sugar too or light brown sugar, but this time I am using honey. So just add it in there and mix it all together. My broccoli is looking good. So I'm gonna add my mixture now and my and my beef and this is pretty much you're gonna cook it until it thickens a little bit and that is it that probably will take maybe three minutes and dinner is served for lunch so our stir fry is ready we have some lovely sauce in there that can be eaten with some white rice and that will be perfect now this is just a question of serving it up and that is it i served myself a little bit of the stir fry and now it's, i'm ready to give it a go i wish i have some white rice right now rice but i forgot to cook it Tastes wonderful. The meat is tender. The sauce tastes really good. I just wish, wish I have some white rice at this point. But hey, everybody make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Yum yum yum. So guys, I really hope that you give this recipe a go. Make it tonight, whenever. If you try, let me know if you liked it. Don't forget the white rice. 
and I see you next time. Bye bye.